everybody, this is Dr. Kyle with Ice Clinics bringing you our next segment of Ask the Doc. Our question today comes from Miss Heather P. And she asks us, what's the best way to treat plantar fasciitis? So, very good question. Um, I think the best solution I could offer probably comes in three parts. So, if you think of it this way, your plantar fascia is... Um, a structure on the bottom of your foot that fans out much like this model does, although those are what, what's called your intrinsic foot muscles. We'll get to those in just a little bit. But imagine the plantar fascia fans out very similar to that, and it's kind of designed to help our foot with forward momentum through what we call the windlass mechanism. However, because we have shoes that tend to make our feet weak and um, just postural stuff in general, we tend to put too much stress on the plantar fascia and it gets inflamed. So one of the best things you can do to minimize the strain on that plantar fascia is to strengthen these guys, your intrinsic foot muscles. And a very simple way you can go about doing that is by activating the gripping muscles of your toes. So one of the things I'll do almost every morning, I'll go walk around my yard and just work on splaying my feet so i'm trying to spread my toes as much as i can and then i'm trying to picture the muscles under my arch right here uh, gripping so kind of gripping and squeezing so i'm still squeezing with my toes here but i'm trying to involve the muscles here as well as opposed to squeezing like this where i raise up my toes i'm trying to kind of squeeze like i'm pulling towards a central point but that being said, doing both, um, both ways is also a very valuable thing to do as well. So you can kind of squeeze with the muscles under here, and then you can put more emphasis with the scrunching of the toes. And you can just do that back and forth a few times, activate those muscles. That's really good to get those intrinsic foot muscles firing. Um, one of the other uh, good things you can do is stretch out the backside of the leg. So we have two muscles back here. Um, that can get stretched. One of my favorite stretches is just simply leaning into a wall, keeping your heel planted and leg straight. This stretches one of the muscles called the gastrox. And then to work the other set of muscles called your soleus, you have to bend your knee and try and keep your hip planted. And you still want to have that forward momentum. So you should feel that more or less kind of down here, but at least in the backside of your leg. That will go a long ways. I'm also a big fan of not doing just static stretching, so just getting into the position and holding. But I like a little bit of kind of bobbing and weaving, just moving back and forth, trying different angles um, and putting different tension loads through that muscle. But back and forth, a few reps, goes a long way. The other most important piece, I think, being a chiropractor with plantar fasciitis, is the integrity of this bone um, or these sets of bones right here called your cuneiforms and this bone right here called your navicular. These guys, as you can kind of see from the side here, uphold the arch part of the foot. And very often when we have a weakened foot from lack of strength in these intrinsic foot muscles, these guys can drop. And what that does, if you can picture the bones dropping down this way, it will splay the toes. It'll wedge the toes and the heel apart from each other. And again, if you imagine a plantar fascia down here, it kind of adds that irritated stretch. So really with plantar fasciitis, you don't want to necessarily stretch the plantar fascia. You want to strengthen the muscle on the bottom of the foot, stretch the back of the leg, and make sure the function of these sets of bones are working properly. And that's why seeing an extremities chiropractor can sometimes be a very good option if this is something that you're struggling with. So Heather, great question. Hopefully this addresses um, some of the viewers watching this video. And if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to ask us. Again, my name is Dr. Kyle with Ice Clinics. Thanks for watching.